Well, good day, everybody. We're uh, out west here. The cooling pond. This one's open year round. It's uh, mid April right now. Most of the lakes are closed. But uh, this cooling pond holds some pretty good pike in here. There really isn't many people that come out here. Thankfully, it's open year round. I don't even think this place freezes over. It stays pretty warm water, right? And uh, that's why people say there's such big pike in here is because the water's so warm all the time. I haven't personally caught anything to call home about. But, oh, look at that one, just followed it right to the boat. Huh. Ah, that's a good sign. Hopefully we hook up with a pike here. That would be nice. I'd take anything, but I'm pretty sure that's all that's in here. Guess we'll find out, right? I'm gonna try and only use one spoon today. You guessed it. The locator is Len Thompson, Red Devil. The old red and white. It's a great, great spoon on its own. So it's got to be like 10 times better with the locator's logo on it, right? You would think. But we'll see. I mean, I'm going to give it an honest couple hours if I don't catch anything on this spoon. I'm not going to lie. I'll probably switch it to something else. Another spoon, of course. Just, I love spoons. Len Thompson, man. Always Len Thompson. Anyway, been here for about 20 minutes in this spot and had that one follow it to the boat and that was it. So I think I might uh, try somewhere else in a second here. Well, the second I turned the camera off, I hooked one. Should have just kept it going. Got him right here. What do we got? I'll be surprised if it's anything but a pike. It's a pike. Oh, wow, that's actually a pretty good sized pike. Come here. Yep, you, oh, no, you got out of the net. Come back. My net isn't big enough. Yes. That might be the first fish ever caught on a locator spoon. Oh, 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 Okay. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. That is a nice fish. Now, that's how you start off a year. Woo! That is wicked. Okay. Let's get this shark back in the water here. Oh yeah, first open water fish 2021, a nice big pike. Can't complain about that. Let's get another one. Well, we're at another spot here now. <clears throat> Apologize if the audio sucks. That first fish there I caught, my mic receiver fell in the water. So bullet mic on the GoPro here should be sufficient. Fishing right along a bit of a drop off. So on this pond here, there's a bit of a channel that goes into a corner. I trolled through the corner a bit, had one bite, and it. Didn't hook him. I pinched my barbs on this treble, just that first fish, man, I wrestled and wrestled with that hook and I don't like doing that. There's one right there. Oh, that's a better fish. There we go. I knew I turned that thing on for a reason. Come on, stay pinned. There we go. Not crazy big, but locator's spoon out of his mouth. Should come out relatively easy now that I pinch the barbs. Yep. That's why you pinch the barbs, it come out right away. It's a nice fish. Hold them like a noob. Not too bad. They're uh, they're uh, got big bellies on them in here. But let's get this guy back in the water. 
because I want to catch another one like this. Woo! Right on. I don't know if you noticed, but every time I bring it in, I pull it along the side of the boat here. Some people even go back and forth next to the boat. Heard it referred to as the musky troll because pike and musky will actually follow it and stalk it and not necessarily bite it when it's way out there. So you just drag along the side of the boat like this here. Cause if there's one following, you never know, they might bite it right there. Wouldn't that be something? A beautiful day out, absolutely beautiful. Couldn't ask for any better weather in mid-April. Mind you, I'm sure that'll change. I'm sure this is just some sort of fool spring. Whatever, I'll take it. <laughs> well, of course, as soon as I take the GoPro off my head, one followed it right next to the boat. It was just a little guy. I'm pretty sure my spoon's a little too big for him, but he thought about it. He definitely thought about it. He followed it, so he was... Oh, there's one there. Right on. Fish just see the camera on your head and then don't want to bite. Spoon out. Fish, not as big as the other ones, but it might be the same one that followed me. He's actually got some line wrap on him. Some cuts from other people's line wrapped up around him, but nonetheless, number three. See ya. The locator's Len Thompson spoon. You want one? You get a hold of us on Facebook or Instagram and email us. Our email's posted on, on all those, but it's so a Len Thompson, number zero. Nice gold back to it. I've caught three fish on it today. It even comes with a swivel, but if you guys are interested in one of those, hit us up and we can definitely hook you up. We got hats, we got t-shirts, we got hoodies. You guys want some locator merchandise? You're helping us out. I think I got another one. Dude, got another one on right there. Oh yeah. Just trying to be a salesman, eh? Oh, he wrapped himself good. Yeah. Oh, that one's a bit heavier. Help me help you. Oh, I'm getting spread open. There we go. Oh, he's got some blood on him, but he's a big fella. I'm gonna let him go because he's bleeding. You guys fish for pike quite often. I'd highly suggest getting a pair of these. Pliers and jaw spreaders are a necessity when you're fishing for pike. But, man, this spot's livening up. Get another one. When it comes to gear and lures and stuff like that, we're gonna be more informative, or at least try to be. And if we're not, and you guys have questions about things like that, don't hesitate to drop a comment down, down below, right? And ask us, we'll tell you. Might not tell you where we are every time, but as, as per gear, we'll always tell you. Just don't bombard us with questions about where we're fishing. <laughs> Some you just gotta keep to yourself, you know? It's nice to find little spots like this that don't get used up too much and, you know, Come out and enjoy them mid-April in the kayak. No complaints for me today. So anyway, 
I'll quit blabbing. I'll get back to fishing here. Oh, we're pinned up again here. Uh. And there's fish everywhere in here. Right on. Way he goes. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for me here. It's a mighty fine day on the lake. Five or six, maybe seven pike, so that's all right. Fortunately, my GoPro died, and it's too windy to fly the drone. I dropped my mic receiver in the water. It was just a bad day for electronics, but a good day for fishing. So, uh, take that as a win-win, I guess. So, we're gonna head out here. We're gonna go back home and have something to eat, maybe a beer. Hit the spot, eh? Catch you guys on the next one.